Okay, there's one other thing I just want to touch on. You know, so right now you can see that my generator is running. Uh, my generator is providing about 5,000 watts. Uh, you can see my house is taking so much. Up at the top, you can see uh, the battery's getting 55 amps and 54 volts. Now you can kind of see it ramping back and forth. So when you hook a generator up, the generator's hooked up, so let's just go into inverter. Go into advanced, actually let's go into meters first. We'll go into meters. So when we go down, we can see that I'm pulling 5,300 watts from the generator at 50, you know, at 25 and 22 amps, okay? And you can see my hertz is right there. Now, kind of remember that. We're pulling 25 amps from the generator, okay? So when we go back into advanced settings, we go down into AC settings, okay? Uh, get into AC2. AC2 breaker set at 34 amps. So why is that number different? 34 amps is much higher than 25 amps, but yet it's my generator's being limited somehow. So my generator has a 40 amp breaker on it, but I know if I get close to 40 amps, I'll trip the breaker. And I also know if I'm at 40 amps, I'm working the generator at full load, which doesn't make it very happy. So let's go down into Gen Support. Gen Support, ah, Gen Support enabled and I have it set at 27 amps. So anytime there's a load that starts to get up around 27 amps, it starts to uh, back the generator off. So I just moved it down to 21 amps. We'll go back to the front, and you'll see that uh, I'm no longer charging 5,000 watts. We'll quickly go back over there so I can show you again. Go into Ace, oops, got in the wrong spot. Go into Inverter. Go into advanced settings, going into grid support. Oh shoot. Gen support. I'm not listening as I'm reading, am I? Okay, so there. We'll kick this up to let's go to 28. I think the generator will take it. Oh, I can't. That's as high as I can go. It's as high as I can go because there's typically five or six amps in between. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it down just a bit because I know I'm working it pretty hard. We'll go to 26, okay? Go back to the front, and I should be closer to that 5,000 watt number. So that's how generator interacts with the inverter.